my friends, how you doing? Welcome back to the next part of our tutorial of making potato pong. As you're probably figuring out, now we've got our paddles, but the problem is potato isn't recognizing the paddles, and so we need to write some code to make this happen. So how do we do that? We need to go down here to our potato sprite code, so make sure you have your thingamabobber, your potato, whatever it is that you're ponging across the screen, selected. And what we want to do here under this forever is we want to add another if block. So it's going to be moving, but if it hits. Now we have to think about this because we've got two players, player one and player two. So we're going to need to add a operator block in here. And this is where this or one comes in to be quite handy because it can hit player one or if it hits player two, we want the same thing to happen. And so what we're going to do is jump back up to sensing now. And if it's touching, and we want to drag this down and make this player one. And if it's touching, player two. And then we'll knock this bad boy right in there. Maybe get it highlighted. There we go. So now we have it reading that if it touches player one, the green, or player two, the pink, what do we want it to do? We want it to turn. We want it to go the other way. And so we're going to turn this 180 degrees in the opposite direction. And then it should go right back up here, moving two steps forever, going through this loop again. So let's see if this actually reads and picks up the paddles. So here we are. Boom. Now you can see that it turned 180 degrees, but you can also see that my potato is looking upside down. So we gotta we gotta fix that. So what we want to do is we're gonna turn. All right. Um, and then we want to, let's see, how do we get this to, to flip? And we're going to rotate. Let's see how that works here. There we go. Set that rotation style left to right. So you can see now at least it won't go upside down. It's going back and forth. So it's going to turn 180 degrees, but it's just rotating it left to right. So that way it doesn't look like it's upside down, which is kind of goofy, isn't it? So now we have this. So now it comes into our next step, which is we want to add um, some nice touches to this. We don't want one player controlling both paddles. We actually want to get this thing going um, where we can start to control it with the makey makey. But there's a few more things we want to do um, before we get to that point.